three meter long monsters can devour almost their entire body weight in one sitting. predators on the Komodo archipelago, they have a vital role to play. Ruthlessly efficient at pruning out the weak, they have the ability to control the populations of other animals. And maintain a balance within this ancient ecosystem. The volcanic islands of Komodo lie on Indonesia's border with the Indian Ocean. along with ancient fragments of the Asian and Australasian plates. They make up one of the most biologically important regions in the world. Known as Wallacea, the islands are home to an unbelievable diversity of life. And their very own collection of dragons. The Western world did not learn of the importance of these unique isles until the middle of the 19th century, when it was documented by the English explorer and naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace, after whom the region is named. During his travels, Wallace was struck by the strange mix of creatures inhabiting the islands. They teemed with species unknown to science and unseen anywhere else. To the east lay the lands of Australasia and their bizarre creatures. Kangaroos. Cassowaries. And birds of paradise. Whilst to the west, the animals had evolved to roam the vast forests and plains of Asia. Whoa! Unable to reach the Eden in between, those living there were left to thrive. Many of the islands are young and were created less than two million years ago. Formed by a chain of volcanoes, they emerged from beneath the ocean. formed volcanic islands had rich, fertile soil. All they needed was life, which the sea provided. Plants were the first to arrive as strong ocean currents carried fruits and seeds. Incredibly water-resistant, many were able to survive years at sea. 